Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A cone zone for you to know in Genesee County, the Road Commission is closing Duffield Road from Beecher to Potter Road in Clayton Township. It closes at 7 this morning to 1.30 p.m. for cross culvert repairs. Only school buses and emergency vehicles are allowed through that work zone. Well, two people accused in the death of a Flint woman go to court for pretrial hearings. Lori Rosebush and Robert Stillwell were caring for Rosebush's sister, Bonnie Fisher, a woman in her late 80s. Investigators say they got overwhelmed and didn't know how to help her. She was found dead, weighing 62 pounds with broken bones. They're charged with first degree murder and adult abuse. Hundreds of people gathered at a Metro Detroit high school as 18 year old Brendan Santo is still missing after visiting friends at MSU two weeks ago. A civilian search will take place in East Lansing this morning at 10. Here's Chris now with your forecast. Uh, the Blake high temperatures for today should be a degree or two warmer than they were yesterday. Upper 30s to low 40s with the wind factored in out of the west northwest about 5 to 15. Likely going to feel in the 30s much of the day, so may not feel too much different from our Sunday. We'll at least get some sun in the mix. Skies have broken up a little bit this morning. Some scattered lake effect snow showers at Roscommon County. Some of those will find their way through other parts of mid Michigan from time to time today, but it will take probably until the later morning and early afternoon. Some of those snow showers may mix with rain occasionally, and then once we get into the later portions of this evening, a lot of that will eventually come to an end. We'll clear our skies out a little bit into tomorrow morning and start with some sun before clouding up a bit Tuesday afternoon. Your seven day forecast shows our next chance of wet weather comes on Wednesday with mid to upper 50, so it should just be rain Thursday through early parts of the weekend, low to mid 40s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.